We got on our motorcycles today and rode over to Wichita Falls, Texas to see my son-in-law, Peter Furler, and my daughter, Summer Furler, and Third Day and Skillet and a whole bunch of folks. So they're going to share a little word with you today, and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. You rolling? Yes. This rolling? <laughs> you can use that. Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Peter Furler. This is my gorgeous Summer. wife, Summer. Yesterday we celebrated our 23rd wedding anniversary, and so we get the question asked a lot. Uh, how do you guys stay together? You know, for us, I think that's really important is um, staying connected. And one of the ways we stay connected is by A, not letting anybody or anything come between the two of us. Um, and another way is to read God's Word together. You know, you've heard the term, you st we're on the same page. Well, with God's Word, it instructs us, you know, as a couple. It, you know, we're not confused about what's the future, what's going to happen with our lives, what's, what's, what's God saying, what's He saying on the earth today? Well, it's all there in His Word. And so, as a couple, the two of us, when we read that together, we pray together, something divine happens because that Word is not just paper and ink, it's living and it's active, it, it moves in your life and so these are things that have helped keep our marriage not only together but thriving. You don't, you're not just hanging in marriage to suffer each other, you're hanging and enjoying each other. They're and when we read the word together there's something about reading the word aloud in your home mm -hmm. and we always find that every time we read something it ends up coming into our life in That's some right. way where we're sharing it with someone um, or we're, we're constantly talking about what we just read and it just does bring a connection. That's right. And it's the best way to start our day. It's a great way to end the day. Mm -hmm. So go and do it. Yeah. Don't wait. <laughs>